lot of people still say Helen Zilla runs the DA. Mm. She is like at the top and then you've got John Steen Hazen now. A lot of people accuse Action SA of being a, a DA light. How do, how do you dispel that myth and maybe also just go over again the reason why you left the DA? And I just want to add for myself, to this day, you're still my favorite mayor of Johannesburg. Um, and I just want to say again, thank you so much for the work that you did. But how do you dispel the myth that the Action SA is DA light? And well, uh, why did you leave the DA? Panel, uh, first of all, uh, for people who say uh, Action SA is a DA light, are those that are like the DA... Uh, uh, the reason why there was a breakdown of relationship uh, between the DNI, they labeled me an EFF mayor. You remember that yes. one? I can sh uh, show you the clip no, of Ellen. They, they were Zilla. not happy. They even spent um, money during the 2021 local government election saying to people not to for, to vote for me because I'm I'm an EFF, EFF. mayor. And uh, in my scene. Uh, 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 was that uh, I was providing services also to poor communities. Mm. They used to say to me, well, because I live in Sentin, that I must cut grass in Sentin. I said, no, <laughs> people in Sentin, we, we, we've got gardeners, we've got lawnmowers, uh, we can take care of ourselves. Yeah. In Sentin, what I will uh, will focus on upgrading of uh, real infrastructure, mm. the, the water reticulation system, uh, electricity substation, the roads and so forth. But you cannot tell me I cannot provide the toilets to communities who have lived uh, in Alexander and some of the squatter camps uh, for 20 years with ANC uh, not really caring whatsoever and mm. you as a DA you tell me I cannot provide the services to do this poor communities uh, uh, building uh, uh, drug rehab centers uh, building clinics mobile clinics in in these communities and so forth obviously D DA didn't take kindly to those but uh, to yeah. we we ended up by the time I left and uh, the, the time they uh, got together with the ANC to have secret meetings to have a motion of no confidence against yeah. me. There was a breakdown of uh, communication because I told them to go to hell. I'm here to <laughs> I'm here to serve the residents, all residents yes. of, of Johannesburg. Because I'm a mayor of Johannesburg, yes. not a mayor of, of certain of neighborhoods. A certain neighbor, uh, na 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 neighborhoods. So obviously, I think the narrative um, uh, where uh, where people uh, who obviously action SA gives them uh, uh, chest, chest pains. pains, they will call us uh, a DA light, yeah. and then DA um, uh, runs a, pro uh, a project called us an EFF light. So that's fine. What happens? People of uh, Johannesburg, people of South Africa that know my views. I'm yeah. a, I'm a very strong individual. Uh, I'm here to serve people of South Africa. And, and and I'm unapologetic about that. Uh, I left my business um, to do this job and not to serve uh, interest groups. I'm yeah. here to serve people of South Africa. So you can call me EFF Light, you can call me DA Light. Action SA is a completely independent organization given the mandate by 4.2 million South, I mean, 2.4 million South Africans. Yeah. You know, when I was, um, I uh, initiated a project called uh, the People's Dialogue after leaving as a, as a mayor to test uh, because all of a sudden there was this call for me to start my own political party. Yes. But then I, I couldn't ignore it. Uh, people were phoning radio stations uh, everywhere. It says, Mashaba, please uh, yes. phone, call, start your own political party. And I said to myself, what have I done to deserve this? Where do I start to start a political party? Yeah. <laughs> Are you aware, Ben, when, when I accepted uh, to be the mayor of the city of Johannesburg, I had no clue uh, uh, <laughs> what the mayor does. I didn't, I didn't even know where, where the, the government offices were, the yeah. mayor's offices were, not even his office, you yeah. know. So I, I had no idea. But one thing that moved me, was obviously to being aware that my country is, is, go, is uh, going down. Yeah. And uh, if not me, who? And uh, can I, do I run away from South Africa and come and visit my family in a broken society? I said, no. I want to raise some, I want to raise a very uh, sensitive topic, but it's been topical recently. Um, your views on, on, this is not fair for this platform, but your views on, on Israel and Palestine and what's, what's going on there. I think, uh, panel, um, at the moment, uh, as, as a parent, uh, I live in a house that's burning. Mm. My children uh, 
uh, are in trouble. Yeah. I live in a country where 80 people are murdered every single day. Recorded yes. cases. Huh? Correct. Reported. This reported, is, is this reported, reported cases. cases. 80 people are being that and every day. Yeah. Every 11 minutes, uh, uh, um, a woman is raped in this country. Every time I look at a passing woman in this country, I said, is she raped already or when is she going to be raped? Because every 11 minutes, a woman is raped. If you look at uh, uh, how our, our youth future is robbed because of uh, this crime, uh, the drug syndicates, now, tell me, as a, as a normal human being, mm -hmm. you, your house is burning, yeah. life-threatening. And then in the process, uh, the neighbor's house catches fire. Yeah. Now, tell me, as a normal human being, what, do I, what are you going to do? Are you going to leave uh, your family going to help your neighbor? You so tell me if, let's, say, let's, let's look at it from that point of view. Yeah. So for me, right now, our house is burning, yeah. serious. Uh, the, the numbers I've just given you are not the numbers coming from me. They come from, from the Minister of Police. Yeah. They are there. They and as you said, there. it's reported or recorded so, cases. Yeah. They are probably much more. Yes. So now you can imagine must I divert my attention to such complex international matters. Yeah. The only thing, uh, to be fair to you, that I, I, I respond to your question, I pray every day and, uh, for, the, uh, for the Palestinians and the Jews to... Be, uh, I hope one day the leadership can emerge that can get them to accept that they must coexist. Yeah.